surgery, I'm 5'7", my BMI was 33%. If you're over 35%, you cannot have surgery. So you're having to lose weight, a lot of women, to even have surgery. You're having to alter your height or weight so you can have surgery, which a lot of women do, and it's dangerous. It's a risk, but people want surgery so bad that women are willing to do so much. And it's not just women. Now in Miami, transgender is so, so big. So a lot of the places, right, they, they have this hook where it's tax season. And they use the tax refunds as a way to get down payments and to pay for surgery and to hook them in for cheap plastic surgery. Um, so often, these women that are coming in that really should be spending their tax money, you know, on yearly things like their kids and, you know, food or paying their rents or everything, they're like, okay, this is a time to get their money. And then they're taking their money, they're performing the surgery on them, and they're forgetting about them. He was on 5th Avenue and 34th Street. Why would I think that I'm gonna get botched? The secretaries had gone over the finance paperwork with me. They gave me paperwork for um, what I should have been doing as far as diet and medications two weeks prior to surgery. They gave me that the day before surgery. So these people that own surgery centers aren't doctors. They're ex-felons. This is just like the next play for them. Doctors essentially just work for the owners. After I had my son, I didn't like my body, so I went to go see Dr. Shaheen because my friend worked for him. I did my research, aside from what all the other things are saying, I did my research. My friend worked for him. He was in Men's Health Magazine. He was on Love & Hip Hop. He was on shows. He was out there. Other people were happy. There was nothing public that he botched people. I did my research before I got to Florida. Um, I did come up with Heather Meadows, who was the girl that um, died while undergoing surgery with Dr. McAdoo. Surgery is really supposed to be an intimate thing. It's supposed to be something that you do for yourself. I tried to go the lawyer route. And in the state of New York, they don't really give a shit because if you're a doctor, you can do whatever you want. You, you have right of passage, you can do whatever you want just by having doctor in front of your name. You could be a gynecologist doing plastic surgery like Dr. Shaheen was. No problem, you know? Cool, you deliver babies, deliver this beautiful body to hell because look at how I ended up. So I go in for the consult. The same day I go in for the consult with my friend who worked for him, um, he said, we have an opening today if you wanna do your surgery today. And I was like, okay. I thought I would have to wait months for, you know, that usually. It was like, today the girl found out she's pregnant, she can't um, have the surgery. So I was like, all right, cool. I was like, I'll do it today if you keep it under $10,000. He charged me $9,999. $9, and men are actually getting six packs. They go in and create your six pack for you. They lie on your stomach and they go in and tighten your muscles for men and give you a six pack, no gym included. As of January 2020, all surgery centers will have to sign up with the state and they're going to have to have a doctor in place that's accountable for whatever happens there. Love is love.